I want chocolate babies too. Oh, no, I, that's, that's, I, I, I just think they're funny. And also, I think I have a better chance to, of not them. having to pay for college because I'll get a scholarship. <laughs> I've been trying to get pregnant with my black Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> These are good people watching right now, Milo. <laughs> Excited to bring on our next guest, was supposed to be on last week, Violently Ill, Milo Yiannopoulos. Thanks for being on, sir. Thank you, Angel. How are I'm, you? Oh, my gosh. There, I didn't, not kid you, I didn't reveal until, uh, look at you. Look at the new pump. You're going uh, rockabilly. Oh, you like it? Well, I do. I think you're kind of stealing my, my style. You think I'm stealing I've never style? had another haircut. I hate that it's now trendy. Is this your haircut? Is this what you have? Like Pretty this? much, except I just don't overdo it. <laughs> if I were trolling the bars, I would, uh, I would do it like yours. The problem is now when I go in, I say, listen, give me this. And they go, oh, and they try and cut it like yours because that's the trend. I'm like, no, no, I, I don't want it as exaggerated. Yours is an exact. You're, you go big. You know, you know, I just wake up like yes. this. I, I mean, other, other people tell me stories about hours spent in the salon. I just wake up and I look like Well, this. you were coughing up a no. lung from some seafood poisoning from what you told me. So hopefully you're feeling better. I had, um, well, I went for a very beautiful meal, which was a lovely tasting menu, yada, yada. But I think the oysters were maybe a bit bad. So I was supposed to be on a, I was supposed to be doing a pre-record with you and I was kind of like uh, spontaneously having stomach convulsions on the side of the motorway. So I'm sorry we didn't get to do that. But hey, you got me live, even better. We'll talk about that afterward. So rough week for you, Milo. It's a what? It was a rough week. I saw your tweets when, when, when uh, Trump lost the caucus. You were not thrilled. Oh, daddy. No, 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 no. Daddy's fine. Daddy's fine. Listen. Nobody cares about Iowa. Nobody gives a shit about it. They haven't picked a nominee since 2000. This they goes out to forward. FCC stations, so let's keep the language to... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm to, sorry. I know what you I'm guys sorry. do in your seedy little gay bars with your bug chasers. <laughs> <laughs> deplorable and disgusting homosexuals. It is deplorable. Um, hey, can you, can you for once... Again. Do you, you think I'm a cuckservative, Milo? Yes, but I am too, so it's okay. Really? You are too? Yeah, no, no. I mean, some of the people who use that word like me... But I still am one. Um, okay. I did a, I did a test. There's like a seven question, um, like a questionnaire, and I think like strong support for Israel like immediately puts you in the conservative box. Mm -hmm. So I'm um, as well. Um, and I think being a fag doesn't help. It doesn't and help. What else? There's some other thing that I believe in that they don't like. Oh, like uh, I'm, I, I suppose I would be probably kind of neocon on foreign policy because I'm quite hawkish mm -hmm. so i think that well, you get a pass service. because you're flamboyantly gay um yes but i think i think the the alt-right who i have many sympathies with by the way um i like in, in many ways um i think they tend to be fairly anti-war anti-expansionism anti except they love hitler you know, well, I think that most of the, I, I know I think that the press has completely got that wrong. No, no, I'm talking about my timeline right now is literally nothing but pro Hitler comments from the alt right. Yeah, but they do it because it gets to you. They do. Oh, no, it doesn't get it to me at all. It, they do it because they support what, Hitler. It, it, it's got to you because you're you're bringing it up. Look, these people are professional like professional trolls on the internet. Why do they send Jonah Goldberg? And you Goldberg coach them. Of national... No, I've never coached them. Um, why do they send Jonah Goldberg of National Review like horrible things about Jews? Because he never shuts up about it when they do. It, it, you know, they, they, people don't troll because it doesn't work. You know, people troll because they get under people's skin and they fly off the handle. And you got to remember, most of these, most like, a lot of these, like, are seventeen-year-old kids, for God's sake. Um, and and they didn't, they don't have any living relatives okay. who through the Second World War. They don't appreciate. So you like, would, of course, the say there's nothing wrong with me saying I would adopt a black child. Why would there be anything wrong oh, with that? Oh, there you go, there you go. Oh, you're a cuck. How dare you? I want chocolate babies, too. Oh, no, I, that's, 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 I, I, I just think they're funny. And also, I think I've I have a better chance to, of to not having to pay for college because I get a scholarship. <laughs> I've been trying to get pregnant with my black... Stop it! Years. Stop it! <laughs> These are good people watching right now, Milo. I love it when Americans pretend to understand European languages. Well, um, I was raised in Canada. I spoke color with a U. So I'm a half-breed. Awful. Oh, of course, of course Canadian. I remember. No, this is this is why I'd never come on your show because I don't like appearing in public with Canadians. This is true. Listen, no one is proud of it. Okay, um, no one's proud no of one's, it. No, one is proud no of one's proud of being Canadian, especially now with uh, with Trudeau. Oh my gosh. Um, 
so okay, uh, I didn't want to interrupt. So wh- where where are you feeling this week? You said you feel fine because I know I know you've talked about Trump, but you even said on the Rogan podcast you're not really hoping he wins. You like the show. Well, I'm on the fence about that now because I'm starting to get really into. I mean, the more I find out about the American Republican establishment and the American political establishment generally, the more I realize it's just like ours in London, and the more I want to see it hurt. But they endorse the Trump. The more I want to see it suffer. Um, no, I mean, they're, com- they're coming round to the idea that they might have to pretend to tolerate him because they think he's controllable and they don't think Cruz is. Um, but so would we, uh, the- truthfully, though, wouldn't we admit that's kind of a testament to the fact that Cruz has pissed so many people off because he does his own thing? Whether you like it or not. Yeah, yeah, and, and and he should wear that with he should wear that as a badge of pride. I certainly would. Yeah, um, yeah, for sure. But um, he's like the straight version of you. Uh, no, 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 because he's no. There's something slightly amphibian about Ted Cruz. Like if you touched his hands, they'd be sort of clammy and and cold. He's kind of, he's kind of like Mr. Rogers with a Dracula's widow peak. I can't warm to him, and I don't know why. I think he may just be like one of those people that just you can't empathize with. He's just like a brick wall emotionally, um, well, and I just can't get inspired by him. He's not like daddy, is that's he? That's insight from, He's no daddy. No, it's insight from a sociopathic narcissist, so that's a good analyst. Uh, analysis. Well, this is, this is, you know, poachers make, the guest, uh, poachers make the best gamekeepers, so I'm just letting you know I see him as a sort of fellow sociopath. We don't have a ton of t- How do you see this playing out in Britain, right, as someone who comes in from Europe? Um, Europe's fallen. We know that. You know that. How do they see? Are they too close to the forest to see the trees, or do they see this and go, you know what, Trump might be right about some things? Brits don't like Trump because they don't like the brashness mm. of uh, his particular style of American, like um, conspicuous consumption and uh, unapologetic brashness. Europeans and particularly Brits don't like that at all. So that they they sort of instinctively know they don't like him, and then they search for reasons. Why they why so search for reasons they can say they don't like him that are a bit more publicly acceptable than I don't like brash people, which is the truth. So they'll say, for example, he's an Islamophobe or he's a racist or whatever. We had this grotesque, terrible spectacle of our MPs in Parliament wasting taxpayer money. And, and that's for people like me people. who, are, you know, I've defended Trump on those issues. That that uh, um, you know, what was it, uh, Duck Frump, whatever that that fake social yeah, justice warrior thing. So, well, he has the right enemies most of the time. He and does. then sometimes and he doesn't. Why I wish you guys would, would get on board the train a bit more often, or at least just acknowledge this more often, because I know you hate him as a, uh, as a serious candidate, but I judge people by their enemies, and there is nobody, with the possible exception of me, that annoys the progressive left as much as the dear, sweet daddy does. Well, I've been doing it back and since 2009 when, when Trump was a Democrat, and I think, I don't know what you were doing, but I've pissed him Trump, off for a long time. Trump. Um, well, he was against I anti-Islamic think, speech a half, about half a year ago. Well, okay, whatever. No. I don't think I don't think if his particular policy positions are why people vote for him anyway. So if you're trying to interrogate him on the basis of ideological consistency, no, I think you you're right. I think you're right. If people like him, it you has nothing to do with. with you don't understand him, and you don't understand his voters. If you're trying to interrogate him according to policy positions, that's no, not, not policy positions. I'm just talking about the free speech position. You know, with the Pam Geller thing, I think it would be great you know, if we I point back to that. that. I get the feeling that he's not as robust on free speech as I would like, right. but I believe that he can be educated on that. I have had some, uh, you know, on, on the, what little he said, for example, about technology and video games, which is an area that, uh, the two areas that I'm into, his positions aren't perfect there, but that's only because I think they haven't really been fleshed out and True. pulled through yet. Um, I think on free speech, he's sort of wavered slightly, and as you know, I'm a... F- yes, well, that's all I want to go before we go to the break. In England, Europe, is free speech making a comeback, do you think, or is it gone forever? No, no, it never will. Really? Um, there's a chance in America, because you have the first and, thank God, the Second Amendment, um, that basically protect your rights and your freedoms. Um, that we don't have anything comparable in Europe. We don't have anything similar, and we don't... Is thing on? It is on! You're still here! Congratulations, you win the internet. Click my face to go to ladderwithcrowder.com, where we do news every single day. Subscribe on iTunes or SoundCloud, or if you can't be bothered, this clip was taken from a full show. You can click that full show right next to me. Great guests, callers, sketches. Every single week, we live stream it here, Thursday at 8 p.m. Also, very rarely do we wear pants in the studio. <laughs> 